everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shay, and thank you so much for joining me for another behind the scenes look as we make some embeds for the weekend soap. But before I actually dive into making those embeds, I want to give a huge thank you and shout out to Patrick from Soapy Oaks Farm. I'll leave a link to his channel down below in the description box and I highly recommend checking him out. He's got lots of great informative videos, lots of great projects to give a go at and he's got some really cute videos of all his newborn farm animals at the moment as well. Now during the week Patrick actually approached me to let me know that during his travels he stumbled across another channel that had taken one of my videos, not just me, they'd taken videos from other channels as well and had downloaded them and then uploaded them onto their own channel. Now they do have a couple of little disclaimers on there, however they have actually failed to follow the copyright and creative common rules of crediting back the original source. And what they have actually done is removed all of the introductory and um, end screens from off the video so that there is absolutely no reference to the fact that the video belongs to me as Soy and Shay or any of the other soapers whose videos have appeared on there. So although I am actually spending a little bit of time researching how to get this video safely taken down, I'm not going to get angry, frustrated and cry and all that sort of stuff over it. Instead, I'm going to take it as a lesson learned. Now, I'm all over watermarking photos. If you do follow along with me on things like Instagram and Facebook, you will see that my photos will generally have my logo somewhere in it. I don't watermark because um, basically we've got enough technology now that people can take watermarks off photos and I have seen this done. What I now do is make sure that my logo is actually somewhere in the photograph. So not the watermark but actually a physical object with my logo on. So for example if it's a picture of a soap, my soaps will actually have my logo stamped onto them. Um, there was a really silly photo I did on Instagram this week where I showed my foot with my Ugg boot on and when you look in the background there is actually a bag hanging up which has my logo on so that photo is quite obviously mine. It's taken in my work studio. Now I thought when I was uploading my videos that down in this corner here there's a little thing there called branding and basically the branding is that when someone is watching your video on a mobile device they can click on that little brand logo, it pops up with the subscribe button and you can easily subscribe on a mobile device. I somehow thought because it was called branding that that actually stuck to your video and it turns out this is not the case. When someone downloads your video it removes that branding and it also removes the little eye from up in the corner so none of the links follow through either. Now it's going to be very difficult for me to actually put something within the um, within the video showing my logo. I could put a business card on my workbench but I know me, it will get knocked out the way, covered in soap, probably stuck to the bottom of a jug, something like that. So the only way I have now thought that I can actually start branding my videos properly is up in this corner now there will be my little logo and this is hopefully going to deter people from stealing my videos. I'm also going to start making a bit more of a conscious effort to put things like my Instagram handle at points in the video and that will hopefully also deter people from taking it. I'll just have to make sure that it is at a point in the video that is vital so that they don't cut it out. Hopefully none of these will really affect your viewing um, of the videos and I do ask if any of you guys do see any of my videos floating around out there that are not linked to my channel and are also not credited back I would love it if you could please let me know you don't have to write anything to the other channel just let me know and then I will handle it from there so with all of that being said we will now go and jump into making our cold processed soapy embeds for the weekend soap so we're going to have a few different steps into creating this next embed for the soap. And the first thing I'm going to do is create myself a little block of soap, which I will then grate up to create some shreds to go into the next soap. So I've got my solid oils and butters here because I'm going to use the heat transfer method. I have mixed some distilled water and sodium hydroxide together and this is sitting at about 76 degrees Celsius or 170 degrees Fahrenheit. And what I'm going to do is pour this hot mix into my oils and butters here and let the heat melt those down. OK, 
Okay, so that has pretty much all melted down. There's a few little bits and pieces still floating on the top, but I'm happy enough with that that the stick blender will actually finish breaking all that down once we start blending. What I have in this little jug here, I have my oils, but before I pour them in, I am also going to add in my mica because I want this all as one color. And this is Silver Lakes mica from my mica obsession. I'm also going to add in just a tiny bit of activated charcoal because I want that to be quite a dark grey and I don't have a really dark grey on my little shelf of micas. So I'll just give that a quick stir just to incorporate it a little bit and I'm going to pour in my other liquid oils and then I'm going to take the stick blender and I'm going to blend this up. Okay, so I have brought this up to a medium to thick trace and that's simply because I don't need to do any fancy pouring and I want this to set up as quickly as I possibly can get it to so we can get these embeds made. To help with that process, I really reduced down the amount of water that I'm using in here and I also added just a little bit of sodium lactate just to make it easier to unmold it out of my silicon molds. What I've got here is my tall and skinny loaf mold I think that's going to be all right yeah let's pour it in there all right so we're going to just pour that straight into the mold no fancy stuff and then I'm going to leave this one to set up and then I'll come back later and I will start grading it up So on to the next bit of the soap now. So I have unmolded this. I did get a bit of soda ash on the top there, but I'm not too worried because we're going to actually grate this up to go inside the next soap. So I've just got my grater here and this one is specifically used in my workshop. And all I'm going to do is just run it up and down the grater as you would with cheese and grate it into some little pieces. Now that I've got that grated down like that, it is a bit sticky because it is fairly fresh sort of soap. What I'm going to do is just break it out a little bit and I'm going to leave it sit here for about five to ten minutes, which will enable it to dry out so that it doesn't stick together in the actual soap base that we're going to make. So here's a bit of a tip for anyone that wants to do this. Hold your grater up in the air so that the soap doesn't all clump together inside and then just move it around so it all spreads out. And then again, I'm going to leave this one sit here for about five to ten minutes just so it can dry out a bit and then we'll come back and do the next bit of the soap. Alright, so things got a little bit busy yesterday so I ended up actually leaving these sit overnight and they are now dried out enough that they don't actually stick together which will be really good when we add this into the soap so we don't end up with big clumps of grey in there. What I've got in my bucket here are my oils and my fragrance oil as well and in my jug I have my lye water solution which I've already put in some titanium dioxide because I just want this to be a white soap with those grey scraps in them. So what I'm going to do is pour my lye water solution into my oils and then I'm going to blend it up, put my soap scraps in and then pop it into a mould. So we're all scraped out and in here I'm going to give this a quick spritz with some rubbing alcohol just to try and stop any of that soda ash that may form. The rest of these soap scraps that are left over I do have some future plans for them so I'm going to pop them into a bag ready for the next time I need to use. I'm going to leave this one sit and set up and then I'll come back and chop it up. Okay, so I've unmolded my piece of soap and this is what we've got here and now all I'm going to do is chop this up into random pieces. Some of them are going to be small, some of them are going to be quite big. So I might just chop that one a little bit wider there and basically I am just going to do lots of little sort of pieces that look like this or roughly like that. 
some will be a little bit longer some will be short some will be wide and i'm really really hoping the idea that i have got for this soap is going to come together i've got it all drawn out in my little folder and i've kind of worked out how i'm going to achieve it So I just had to fast forward all that bit. My dog has been going absolutely crazy. And when I checked outside, there's two people walking up and down the street trying to sell something. And um, I just decided to fast forward through all that noise. They did take one look at the dog and decided that they weren't going to come and knock on my door. So I have absolutely no idea what they're trying to sell, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But I'm going to keep chopping this up and hopefully when we do the Saturday soap, this design idea that I've been working on for quite some time is all going to come together. So I hope you've enjoyed coming behind the scenes with me as I make the next sort of embed to go into the Saturday soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. If you want to have a guess at what soap I'm making next, I would be interesting to see that down in the comments too. Um, if you are new around here and you haven't yet subscribed and you are keen to see what we're doing on Saturday, hit the subscribe button and if you hit the little bell it will let you know when Saturday's video comes up. So until then, I hope you have a great week and I will see you then. Bye. Bye.